Yeah, so listen, we've been uh, we've been running a Christmas carol for the last couple weeks, and uh, we we decided to use this. Uh, it's called the Go Button here, this little app, and what it is is it's a QLab condensed version of uh, of the software for the PC, but made for the iPad and it's strictly for the iPad. So the free version, you get a sample and you can recalibrate it or reprogram it like we did and it's uh it's the free, free version includes everything that they offer with the paid version which is a hundred bucks the only difference between the free version and the paid version is is that you can save more than one file but this thing is pretty cool man i mean you know we didn't set up the rest of these buttons we kind of left them you know it's a rim shot and, you know, this is all from the from the sample, you know, but you can program these to do anything if you had scene change music. Yeah, if you had scene change music, I don't think I have it plugged in. <laughs> but uh, but I'm gonna let Paul talk a little bit about it because he's been using it for two weeks, and uh, so Paul, I mean, like uh, the cool thing about it is is that it's a multi-track. Basically, you can have multi-tracks running. You can adjust your levels between the different samples and so I, I wait for the call and when she calls my cue for the next sound I have it set for a fade out fades into out the next sound goes right into the next cue you can and set that up for a delay the next cue and the next cue. so now you have we have two tracks running that are still well yep and then the, that one faded out but you can still have that wind playing and yeah. duck the volume down up underneath of it but this is a very valuable tool, even even though it's it's free. I can't tell you how invaluable it's been for us for the two weeks. Oh, yeah. We ran another we ran another type for uh, uh, a different brand, a uh, different app, and it just didn't meet the caliber of what we needed to use for this. And you know, I've used QLab before, uh, you know, set up with MIDI triggers and the whole nine yards. Uh, you can do the same thing with this one. You know, we're running on a QL5 here. And if you had a mini interface, you know, you could literally set it up to where if you had all your scene changes in your board uh, for each different scene, mics on, mics off, effects level, all of that different, you know, stuff. I mean, you could literally change it with just by hitting go. So uh, it's a great tool. Hope uh, everybody can uh, relate and uh, try to check it out sometime. Go button. Check it out. Later.